What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Naturally Yours podcast, where we celebrate our beautiful women of color while spotlighting their success and bringing more awareness to our natural hair into the education. So I'm Ty The Natural, your favorite global natural hair coach, podcast host, and author. And thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for being here today. Today, we're going to be talking about the number one pain point to natural hair, and that is mindset. So with that being said, if you have been dealing with embracing your natural hair more, or maybe you just been a little scared to embrace your natural hair, or maybe you just don't embrace your natural hair, then this episode is definitely for you. And that means that you just need a mindset shift. That's it. That's all. So today I'm going to be sharing five tips to help you shift your mindset. So let's get into it. All right. So number one, the first thing you need to do is start speaking affirmations into yourself every day, whether it's in the morning, before you go to bed, it could be twice a day before you go out into the world. And when you come back and get ready to go to bed, before you go to bed, you could actually listen to them while you're sleeping and let your subconscious mind just listen to them. It will definitely help your mindset and it will definitely help shift it. So find you something on YouTube, you know, YouTube University. It's free. Why not utilize it? Find you some good affirmations that speak to your soul, that speak to you directly, that help empower you, that help your confidence, that will help you want to embrace your natural hair more in your natural beauty. So I highly recommend that you do do that. And if you don't know what your love language is, you definitely want to find that out. For me, affirmations is my number one love language. So this is something that I have to do. This is something that I uh, have to do for myself. I can't expect anyone else to do it for me. I have to do it for myself. So number two, surround yourself with other empowering natural hair women. So be around other women that empower you to embrace your natural hair. Because if you're around women who never show their hair or who always has a protective style in or maybe who always has a wig on or have weave in their hair, then you're going to be more prone to wearing those type of hairstyles because that's what you see and that's what you engage with on a daily basis. So with that being said, you might have to shift the people who you hang around because if they're not giving you life, if they're not empowering you to be your authentic self, then it's time for you to navigate to a new circle or, you know, you may have to just shift away from them for a little bit or for, you know, for a while until you get stronger with your mindset. So whatever they do don't affect you because, it does, it does take hard work to build up your mindset against negativity because we already deal with negativity when it comes to natural hair. So that's why I said this is the number one pain point because if your mindset isn't right, you're going to end up going back to chemicals. So you have to make sure that you're ready and that your mindset is strong. Uh, look for different communities. Look for uh, different conferences that have to deal with natural hair or different events that have to do with natural hair. Those will help empower you. They will keep you on the right path. So let's move into number three. Number three is listen to some natural hair podcasts. Listening to podcasts really, really helps shift your mindset. It helps shift your thinking, helps you uh, look from a different perspective out of somebody else's lens than your own. And it's always nice to hear a different perspective because you'll learn something that you didn't learn. Or maybe you'll hear something that you heard before that maybe speaks to you a different way. Because I know that I have talks with, you know, my best friend or my friend um, or maybe my coach, you know, and maybe they'll say the same thing or something similar, but maybe it doesn't speak to me the way they said it. Maybe it takes one of your other friends or somebody else or maybe a podcast to say the same thing that maybe your friend said, but say it in a different way to make you understand it better or to relate to it better. So find you a community, find you a natural hair community. 
And just so you know, I do have a natural hair community. So I will leave the link down in the description box of the podcast. So if you guys are looking for a community, I am free to take you. I am free to take anyone that is looking for more beautiful natural hair women to empower them, to share stories and to engage and just have a great time together. So that link will be down there for you guys. Number four, watch some inspiring natural hair influencers, whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. They may be even on Twitter. There are there are some natural hair influencers on Twitter, but maybe you need a nice video. Watch YouTube. YouTube's free. And just saying, but your girl got plenty of YouTube videos on YouTube University, if y'all need somebody to watch and to inspire you to be your natural self, to be authentic. Because if you notice, I don't wear any foundation. I don't really wear um, any coloring on my lips. Um, I don't wear lashes. The only thing that I may do is mascara and um, eyeshadow. Other than that, and my lip gloss. Other than that, this is how your girl gonna look. <laughs> I'm not doing anything extra. I never put on foundation before in my life. I don't even know how to apply it. But if you want to, you know, be around more like-minded people that are being authentically them, then tap in with me. Tap in with more people like us. You know, I'm not the I'm not for everyone, but hey, I'm inviting you. So come on in, come on in, come on in. I am happy to take you in. We are building every day. So make sure you find you some inspiring natural hair influencers that wear their natural hair. You know what I mean? Because there are some influencers out there that do not wear their natural hair. And they revert, they go to the wigs and stuff. And that's not what we're doing. We're, We're being authentically us. So with that being said, there are some natural hair influencers out there who embrace their natural hair on the daily. So find you some and, uh, you know, connect with them, respond on their, their videos, comment. They'll respond back. I know I will. So that was number four. Find you a natural hair influencer that's going to help inspire you to wear different styles, to wear your hair different ways, um, just so you can get a different feel um, for your natural hair because our hair is very versatile and we can wear it multiple ways. Our hair is never boring. There's always something we can do to it. The final tip, find articles or books that motivate you to embrace your natural hair, to want to learn more about your natural hair. Go to the library. You don't even have to buy them. Go to the library and rent you some natural hair uh, books, stories, articles for free. You know, you can do that. That's the easiest way to start reading, to start learning new stories, to start learning our history, our culture. So you know what our ancestors actually went through, you know, because our hair means so much. Like our hair will tell us how old somebody was. Or if a woman was able to be married, or if she was single, or if she was able to bear children, or what tribe they belong to based off their hair. So our hair has so many stories. So with that being said, just do your research. Get you a couple books, you know, empower your mind and find out why our hair has power. That's what I encourage you to do. So let me do a quick recap on the five tips to help you shift your mindset, which is our number one pain point. So the first thing to do is speak daily affirmations into yourself, into your hair, into your soul. Okay, empower yourself because if you don't, who will? You have to start with you first. You're responsible for empowering yourself. Okay, number two, surround yourself with other beautiful natural hair women. Number three, listen to some natural hair podcasts. Listen to some podcasts that's going to empower you to be your authentic natural self. Number four, find some great natural hair influencers on YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, whatever social media platform, Facebook that you really love. But I highly recommend that you um, find YouTube so you can have a video, maybe a little music behind it. You know what I mean? But find you someone that always embraces their natural hair. That's going to help encourage you. That's going to help you stay on the right path. 
Number five, find you a great article or articles. Find you some great books specifically for natural hair. It's going to help you. It's going to help build up your confidence, your education, you know, your whole awareness. So those were my five tips to help you shift your mindset. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, be sure to leave me a comment. Make sure you rate it and we get more people on the podcast because we need to spread this awareness, this knowledge and this information. Okay. So I'm Ty to Natural, everyone, your favorite global natural hair coach, podcast host, and author. Thank you guys for listening to episode 19. And I'm going to see y'all back on the next episode. All right? Peace.